Hey there everyone. Now in this video, we will work on the cart. So what I have done is I have created a cart controller here and defined four methods here. One is to add items to the cart, one is for deletion, one is to change the quantity and then one to list all the items of the cart of a given user. And apart from this, I have created a routes file as well. So post and get route on slash will add item and list items of the cart respectively. And we have this params for the cart ID then to delete the item or the changing the quantity. So let's first work on adding item to the cart. So for that we need the schema. So go to the schema and create a file which is car.ts. Let's borrow some code from here. Let's copy this. Paste this here. We need product ID and we need quantity. and this will be of type number this will also be of type number remove this email so this is uh, create card schema now go back to the controller and use this so we'll say const validated data is equal to create card schema dot parse and we will say request dot body now we will fetch the product as well based on the product id so we need try catch so in the catch we will say throw uh, it will be not found error and the message will be product not found and the error code will be error code dot product not found and in the try we will first create a variable here let product of type product and we will say product is equal to await prisma client dot product dot find first or through and inside the where clause we will say where id is equal to validated data dot product id so now we have the product so we will create the cart item const cart is equal to await prisma client dot cart item dot create and sorry create we will pass the data and we have to pass couple of things first is user id so user id will be request dot user dot id then is the product id product id will be product dot id and then we have quantity quantity will be validated data dot quantity and then we will say response dot json and in response dot json we will say cart so let's give it a try go to the postman and create a separate folder here we will name this folder as cart and in the cart let's first duplicate this move it to the cart We will change the name to I an item and here we will say cards add inside the body we will say product ID one and we will say quantity as let's suppose two so let's hit send and you can see that put is not working so it's post. okay so it's still running i am not sure what the error is so let's see if it's working or not let's try to rerun this again the port is causing some issue so maybe that's the reason product not found so let's grab a product id 46 
and hit send and you can see that the cart is created so if you go into the cart item you can see that user 8 has 46 like cart id and the quantity is 2 so it's working fine now let's go ahead and work on a different controller here so go to the cart add item to the cart is done now we have to delete item from the cart change quantity so let's work on the delete item first so first uh, we have to say it's a straightforward like delete is pretty straightforward so we can say that await prisma client dot cart item dot delete where id is equal to request dot params dot id and once it's done so let's type cast this to int we will say response dot json and we will say success to true so let's give it a try let's duplicate this request we will say delete item and it will be a delete request on cart id1 so let's hit send okay it's creating an issue let's see if it's working or not again like the port is causing an issue i am not sure if node mod is creating an issue or what so let's reload this you can see the success is true and if i reload this uh, you can see that the cart is gone now here are a couple of assignments for you guys so first what you have to check is check if user is deleting its own cart item so basically you have to check that if the cart item dot user dot id is not equal to the logged in user then you have to throw an error and in this controller what you have to check is if the product already exists in that cart we don't have to like add an additional product we have to simply increase its quantity so we have to see check for the existence of the same product in users cart and alter the quantity as required so let me know the solution of these two things in the discussion so and if you want i can make a separate video but these are pretty straightforward so i hope you can do it on your own so let's see you in the next lecture and there we will finish all these two routes